Good morning guys, don't I like a sight for sure eyes. Um, it's been a while since I've come on and vlogged. I hope you can see me okay, it's quite dark here, it's early in the morning. Uh, I have to be a little bit quiet, Robert, he was on night shift last night, he's in bed. Um, he'll not sleep for very long, maybe a few hours because uh, it was his last night shift last night. So for him to go to bed tonight and sleep, he doesn't sleep very long, but still want to be quiet. and give him some peace but yeah how's everyone been how's everyone getting down with lockdown 2.0 here in northern ireland it's a little bit different uh i think from the rest of england oh excuse me um we were meant to open up our hospitality and hairdressers and all that kind of thing on friday uh, but they decided to extend it for another week so fingers crossed they will get to open on the 20th uh, yeah as I say I am pretty tired this morning I as I say I'm a sight for sore eyes oh excuse me guys oh <sighs> Jimmy but yeah I have been having a very bad Hormonal. I don't wear a mask I'm actually mask exempt but I do wear a shield just because I want other people to feel that little bit more comfortable around me. Um, but yeah, I'm having, so I know it's not for masks or anything like that. But So it must be like hormonal, a really bad hormonal breakout. And it's strange because it's not something, spots really isn't something that I suffer from really bad. So it's quite annoying at the moment, but hey ho. Uh, you know, could be worse. But yeah. As I say, what is the weather like where you are? It has done nothing but rain here for the last three days. I'm surprised we haven't had floods, to be honest with you, because it's been that bad. Uh, my garden is completely waterlogged. So, but I'm that kind of person. I would rather it be dry but really cold than all this rain. I hate the rain. It's awful. But yeah, uh, as I say, I am going to go and get a cup of tea. You know me, can't live without my tea. Um, I'm not going to have really anything for breakfast because yesterday it was like Saturday kitchen or something. It was, I don't know what it was, but basically it was John Turrod and his partner. And they made these, uh, basically an at-home version of McDonald's sausage and egg McMuffin things. So of course... Uh, my husband was like, uh, we have to make that. So I went to Tesco's yesterday and bought all the stuff. So when he gets up, that's what he wants. So we're going to have that. Um, see how that turns out. Honestly, men and the fads for these things. I don't know. what is your other half like that? Is it just mine? Robert, honestly, he is a nightmare. He is so easily influenced by things that interest him terrible you know if it's not fish or computers or food <laughs> i can't keep up with them sometimes but yeah so we're gonna give that a go hopefully we'll not fight with each other in the kitchen because uh i'm normally the cook even though i hate cooking but normally i'm the cook um so when he does anything like that i find it really hard not to like get in there and take over but to say hopefully it'll be nice uh, so we're going to have like a brunch kind of thing later on when it gets up. But yeah, I'm starting to just talk shit now and ramble, aren't I? Um, but yeah, I'm going to go have my breakfast. Uh, hopefully by the next time you see me, I will be out of my pyjamas. Um, I can't really say the face will look much better, but I'll be out of my pyjamas. I'll be dressed. And uh, I'll maybe give you a look at these bacon, not bacon. Oh, sausage and egg McMuffin things if we make them so I'll talk to you later well it's uh, a while later I know I was going to come on and show you my amazing brunch but I was just too hungry and I ate it all but it was amazing um, it was even nicer having it made for me 
so really really enjoyed that um it was lovely just say i'm always the one cooking so when someone offers to make you food i'm not gonna say no but the reason why i'm sitting here in what seems to be a funny kind of lighting is i wanted to show people um my candle burner melter um basically i done a home bargains haul um a few weeks back and i happened to mention that i lump my candles and i had a few questions about that so uh, i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about okay so you'll see it here say so, sorry for the bad lighting guys it's actually only half one in the afternoon but that is how dark it is here the weather is abysmal basically what it is is as you can see it's um mine is in the shape of what would have been like an old-fashioned lamp up here there is a halogen bulb um and it comes down onto the candle melts it and gives off the smell um, I got this from a company called Candles, Sniffs and Gifts, I want to say they were called, yeah, Candles, Sniffs and Gifts. Um, they had all different types, all different designs, um, just not that one, they'd loads. Basically I like it because you can um, melt the candle and you're not getting those really horrible um, black smoke marks on your walls etc so i'll just turn your back around to me so oh god that was not very flattering um so yeah so that's why i like it the only thing is as you can see in there and um, i have a home bargains candle and yet the great fab but because they are a cheaper candle i find that maybe every four burns um when I turn it off, I then lift it out and I drain away uh, a little bit of the um, warm wax. Obviously, once it's cooled down, I um, chuck it in the bin. Um, I put it in like, I make like a tin foil bowl or something that, you know, I can put it into, let it cool and then um, chuck it in the bin. That's the only thing I found with the cheaper ones. Um, it doesn't, you have to drain the, the wax um away more often than the really good candles um but yeah they're, they're fab i really like them um as i say i have a couple of nice shanky ones but I'm, I'm keeping those for christmas as i say the home bargain ones are great but because they're cheaper um i don't know whether it's because um it's a cheaper wax they might use or it's a cheaper essential oil um or whatever it is or aromatics that they use in the candles that I find that I need to just drain it away more often than what I would do with a good candle a more expensive candle a high quality that's what I'm looking for a more high quality candle so yeah but yeah absolutely fab especially for anybody that's maybe in a rented accommodation that's not allowed to burn candles because of that reason for the <coughs> Apologies, the dogs, the blind is open and they've obviously seen out something outside. Hey, 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 hey! Mommy is videoing, do you mind? Quiet! The, this is what I have on a daily basis. They, the blinds are open, they see something move outside, and whether it be a leaf that blows in the wind, and that's them, they're off. Um, but yeah, um, as I said, I would really recommend. Um, so, all different price points you can get them i think from maybe about 19.99 up to maybe about 29.99 maybe a bit dearer but um yeah really good if you're interested give it a go as i said i've had a few questions so that's the only reason why i'm mentioning it um i'm gonna move back over to the sofa out of this really weird light oh so yeah, um, as I say, I've had my brunch. Um, as you can hear, the dogs are having a good play about on the floor. Um, sometimes I wonder how quiet my life would be without animals. Oh, I'd be lost without them really, you know. But um, yeah, I had my brunch and I've sort of just tidied up. I've made some raspberry and white chocolate scones. Um, I, when I make my scones, I usually just mould them by hand so I thought no no I'm gonna be really professional this time and I'm going to um, 
get my cutters and I'm gonna cut and I got I done about say maybe ten and then the rest I made about fifteen and all. Uh, the other five I just made by hand. I just prefer that sort of hand shaped um scone. Um, I don't know what it is. I just think it looks better. I must be just kind of that rustic kind of throw together kind of baker. But yeah, um, so I'm going to have one of those later on. Maybe, maybe I'll see because we have a lovely gammon in the slow cooker for our dinner way later on tonight. Um, if again, if we're not hungry enough for that, it's fine. Once it's cold, we can throw it in the fridge. We're very... There's days in this house where we're very go with the flow or there's other days where we're really organised. There's no one or the other. It's like everything is just, we'll see, we'll see where we're at when we get to that point kind of family. But yeah, I'm going to go on and finish off watching some more of my Christmas movies. Um, again, make another lovely cup of tea. It's getting, it's getting close to December, so it's going to soon be hot chocolate season. The tea, the tea might be out the window. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of getting to that hot chocolate with uh, some marshmallow fluff and some whipped cream. Lactose free whipped cream. For anybody that has been watching me for a while will know it has to be lactose free. Um, but yeah. I always fall down this rabbit hole of talking absolute nonsense. I do apologise. So I will go later because I, uh, I'll go and I'll come back later because I actually have some things to show you. I have some stuff from Lush. I have some stuff from QVC. And I got a palette from Morphe. Um, some of it's Christmas presents and some of it is just for myself but i'm going to come back on later and show you those bits and pieces that i got but as i say i'm going to have about my 10th cup of tea of the day so far and i'll see you later okay guys i thought i'd bring you upstairs um it's a bit quieter up here downstairs the washing machine's going tumble dryer stuff on the kicker going for dinner later so just thought it'd be safer to bring you up here um like I said, this is just a really relaxed Sunday vlog. Um, not been doing anything interesting at all today. Sorry, this necklace just drives me crazy sometimes. Um, not been doing anything interesting at all today because I said earlier the weather is just awful. Um, so it really has been a lazy day in the house. Bit of baking, bit of sorting out, eating, you know. I'm sure most of you have been the same. And I'm sure a lot of you are a lot more energetic than what I've been. Um, been cleaning and out walking and probably doing loads of different things. But we've been really lazy here in this house today. So yeah, I said earlier on I wanted to show you some things I got. Now, a lot of this is for Christmas. It's not me being a bit dead bougie and oh, look what I'm spending. No, a lot of this is for Christmas presents. Some of it is for myself. And the stuff that is for myself... Um, it's money that I've saved basically from knocking out and spending um, like I normally would um, over sort of the restric restriction period, lockdown period. Um, you know, I know I'm so lucky that both my husband and myself were in jobs that are very safe. So um, we know we're totally, you know, blessed that way. But um, yeah, so we... I've been just spoiling myself a little bit, sort of, oh, well, it's Christmas presents to myself kind of thing. But yeah, a lot of it is Christmas presents for other people. Um, they'll not know who these are for, so it's okay. I don't mind showing you. Anyway, shut up, Claire. Let's just get on with it. The first two things, they're actually the same. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you. So the first couple of things, by the way, again, guys, sorry for the light. The it's as I say, as you can see out there, it is um, later on in the the daytime now, and it's abysmal. So the first thing I got was this Morphe palette. I actually had seen it for myself, and um, my daughter had seen it too. So hers is for Christmas, mine is to use now. Now I'll try and open this with one hand. Uh, I don't mind opening mine. Um, to show you oh god right but look at that ah. now if you're not into makeup or anything like that you are not going to appreciate how stunning that is 
but yeah 24 quid for all of that i was absolutely blown away um and it was in replacement of the Huda nude one she wanted for Christmas and then she seen that and she was made up. The next few things um I actually make sure of body shop and lush that was just like a free gift. Um these are all like bath bombs and soaps, things like that. Um what I do with these um is I make them up into little sets for Christmas. There is the dog Willow, say hello. No, she's too busy looking out the window. So, example, this one now, this one is for me. These have been set for a few weeks now, guys. This is actually a, a Halloween one. Um, you know, one of the last uh, Halloween things that was sitting about in my local Lush. And I picked that up for myself. That is a bath... I'm going to say, is that a bath bomb? Yeah, it is. It's a bath bomb. Um, so that is for me. But um, and a few other bits and pieces are for me. Uh, but, for example, this. This is a present and what I do is um, normally um, like a little cup, uh, a, you know, with their initial on it or uh, something related to a hobby, that and either some sweets or chocolate, if it's an adult, some alcohol, um, that, you know, doesn't have to be really, really expensive gifts at Christmas. Um, you know, when you can make up, um, this is mine. I actually have used this already. This is the Snow Fairy bath bar. Double bar. You could say I've took a big chunk out of that and had a bath. I couldn't wait. Um, what else did I get? Uh, again, some um, lip scrubs. Uh, that one is, if it'll focus, come on. No, it's not going to focus. That is a candy cane one. Um, now, this is the only thing with COVID. Um, hold on, I'll turn you around again, guys. It seems very impersonal. This is the only thing with COVID that, um, you know, you can't smell anything. So, I don't know what that one smells like. And I got another one. It's a unicorn one. Let me see if I can dig it out in here. Yeah, a unicorn one. Uh, again, I have no idea what it smells like. Again, all these are presents that I just put together little sort of gift sort of bits and pieces some of them are stocking fillers for my daughter um as i say this shower gel the rose jam that is for me that is now if you don't like rose scented things you're gonna absolutely hate that but oh my god it is divine i love it and um, but yeah so there's loads of little lush bits and pieces in there um as i said that i got for gifts um, I'm, I don't want to open them because, you know, as I say, they are for gifts. So, yeah, um, I just thought I would mention those to you. Um, the next thing I got was, this is for me, um, I have always been a great believer in you don't need to spend loads of money on skincare. And I received in a Look Fantastic box was it last month the month before i don't know it was in the elemis um marine cream one that's packed full of collagen now while i've tried things from elemis before i'd never tried that and i received that and also a friend of mine whether she had got hers in a, a calendar or i picked it up somewhere i don't know but she got it for me to try also so i had a couple of them so it actually lasted me quite a few weeks because really moisturizer is only a little pea size amount so i was like i mm, wonder what this is going to be like oh my god guys i loved it absolutely loved it and i knew because it was illness it was going to be expensive so i went on and googled it i nearly had a heart attack for the large size 87 pound 87 pound now come on for face cream uh -uh, no as much as i loved 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 it I would not pay that, but, 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 because, as I said, not been really going anywhere, doing anything, and I've been saving my pennies, QVC actually had this, um, promotion come up, today's, uh, special value, and it was an Elemis gift set, and in it, you got the, um, fifth, no, the 30 mil of the, pro collagen marine cream now this alone for this size is like 50 55 quid right but for 51 pounds i got this i got 
a um, balm. I got a toner. I got a bath and shower gel. A body lotion. An enzyme peel. A eye mask cream. And, oh, the one on the spell on the floor. And a hand and nail cream. So I got all of that, it was like for £51 and the pence. So I was really, really thrilled. I was like, yeah, I'm getting a bargain. But then I said to my husband, oh, I really wish you'd got another one. There was three cents. There was the vanilla and tonka, the neroli, which didn't appeal to me, and the rose. So I said, oh, I wish I'd got another one, but you know, it's maybe a bit too much spending. I then had come across this £10 off code. So I was like, do you know what, I'm going to do it. I said, the money is there, I'd saved it up. So along with the £10 off code, I then got my second one in a different scent. I went for the rose. The first one I got was in the vanilla and tonka. The second one I got was in this, um, the English rose. Uh, there's the balm in it there. Um, and all the other same bits. And I got it for £41 in the odds. So I thought that was a brilliant deal. Of course, you're going to have to love Elemis to be willing to spend that kind of money. But I mean, I'm not going to say to anybody, go out and buy this, this moisturiser. Um, if you can get a sample size of it somewhere, um, then do so and try it. Because it's a lot of money. And like I say, I would have been the first to say, you don't need to spend loads of money. But I tried this and the way it made my skin feel and even look um, now I know at the minute it's not great I've got a lot of hormonal uh, break I, you know I break going on there but I mean just how that aside how my skin feels is just unbelievable this cream is like oh I can see why it is probably so expensive it is beautiful and the difference that I've noticed in the feel of my skin um you know it's a combination skin like forehead nose and chin would be quite oily but my cheeks um and under my eyes and all around here my big fat throat <laughs> would be really really dry and just oh it just feels so soft smooth um it, it, oh, the difference is unbelievable and I've never had that with any moisturiser before so like I say if you can get your hands on a like a, a deluxe trial sort of size of this definitely do so give it a go it is oh fantastic and like I said I was a firm believer in not spent a lot of money but this really changed my mind but yeah uh that is it guys as i say this was just really a little hello how are you on this miserable rainy sunday um just say we're taking it easy here i'm gonna go and finish the rest of my sunday look look at this dog look hey 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 yeah you what are you doing it's as well that's mine and not a Christmas present. Oh, what is she like? I may lift that before she has a go at it again. <laughs> only, only dog owners will understand the pain I'm feeling right now. Um, but yeah, let, they've all come to see me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Toby wants to get... Oh, no, no. Toby's going to be camera shy. Um, Toby is say the new addition to the family he's my mother-in-law's dog there he is yeah okay yeah okay we're all we're all coming to say hello now but yeah um so it's been really quiet here uh it's been an awful day just wanted to lift the camera and come on and chat and say hi and um enjoy the rest of your sunday i know i certainly am i'm gonna go and have a nice bath get myself sorted for work tomorrow i'm a celeb starts tonight yay um obviously you know if you don't like that <coughs> sorry but i do i can't wait i'm sure it'll be really different this year being in wheels but yeah enjoy the rest of your sunday talk to you all again soon bye <laughs>